I said earlier, it smells really good, so I'm sure it's going to taste that good as well. Mmm. Yeah. Slightly sweet and it has a smoky flavour because of the barbecue sauce. Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you're new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make my delicious barbecue sticky chicken drumsticks or thighs. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make a really delicious barbecue sticky chicken drumstick or thigh. So this recipe is really easy to do and this is a great recipe to have if it's if you fancy a barbecue and it's raining outside. So you probably if you're watching this not in the UK then you're probably thinking well it never rains outside. Well in the UK it rains a lot here. We normally plan barbecues and suddenly there will be a massive downpour of rain. So I always like to have other recipes at hand and this is a great one to have to hand. So here I have um, about 600 grams of drumsticks and thighs. I'm just going to set that aside. I have removed the skin on these if you're wondering. So I've taken all the skin off. Um, but if you wanted to leave the skin on then you could. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add the ingredients to make the barbecue sauce, the sticky barbecue sauce, to this bowl. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of tamari. Two. And then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Now this is a barbecue sauce, I've mentioned this in my videos before by a company called Dr. Wills. It's got no gunk and no junk, so it's not got any artificial colours or flavours in it. And it's just a really nice barbecue sauce, I have to say. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. And this bit always gets stuck, I don't know why. I'll probably do this now and it'll fall out into the bowl. Yeah, that's enough. So that's two tablespoons gone in there and then I'm going to use a tablespoon or two of honey as well if I can open the jar yes I can so just going to add a tablespoon of honey to this like so I might add another tablespoon because that's probably only about half I'm add another tablespoon of honey as well and then I'm just simply going to mix those ingredients together until they form like a smooth paste basically and what I will do now is I'll also add some salt and some pepper as well so I have some salt and pepper here so salt and pepper to your taste you don't have to add it if you don't want to the barbecue sauce already has some salt and pepper in it so I'm not going to add too much but I do like to add a little bit just to give it a bit of extra flavour and I'm going to mix those again like so and scrape off what's on the spoon and that's the barbecue sauce done and I'm going to use this like an egg so when I dip the chicken thighs and breasts into the flour I will then dip it into the barbecue sauce and that will be like my egg and I'm just going to go and put these to one side and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do next so I'm going to start coating the chicken thighs and the breasts so I've got about a tablespoon of rice flour here. Now you don't have to use rice flour if you don't want to. You could use tapioca starch or you could use plain flour as well if you wanted to. And I'm just going to roll the chicken drumstick in the flour like so. And I'm going to rub it in a bit as well. And then I'm going to roll the chicken drumstick in the actual sauce as well. I'm also going to use my hands for this as well. I'm going to roll that in the sauce like so until it's all coated and then I'm going to pop that into the almond flour. So I have almond flour here. I've got about four tablespoons of almond flour. I find that covers the drumsticks perfectly. Um, you could use, again, you could use breadcrumbs here if you wanted to or any type of sort of crumb that you like. I'm using almond flour and rice flour because I have a slight gluten intolerance and I find that these are the best substitutes for my stomach as well. So 
I'm just going to pop that onto the plate like so. And then I'll do one with the thigh, actually. I'll show you what it's like with the thigh. So I'm just going to roll the chicken thigh in the flour and then into the barbecue sauce mixture like so and then into the almond flour and then that should be beautifully coated in the almond flour as well so i'm just going to continue to roll the thighs and the drumsticks in all of these ingredients i have finished coating the drumsticks and thighs in all of the ingredients and i'm going to put these into the fridge now some of you may already know that i like to put food like this into the fridge so in the evening when I come to preheat the oven I will put a baking tray in at the same time and then I'll put the drumsticks onto the hot baking tray and that will hopefully help the drumsticks to release their juices and make the chicken really tender and delicious so yes I'm off to put these into the fridge for about six hours I would say you could make these the day before and store them in the fridge or you could make them a couple of hours as long as they have a couple of hours I'm sure it'll be fine so yes as I said I'm going to put these into the fridge I have preheated the oven to 200 degrees and while the oven was preheating I put a baking tray in as I mentioned earlier and then I transferred the chicken to the baking tray once the oven is preheated and I'm going to put this into the oven now for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the juices run clear from the chicken the chicken has cooked and I can tell because the juices are running clear from the chicken I did turn this over halfway through as well just to try and brown off the underside it seems to have worked quite well they are a lovely golden brown colour so I'm going to take this out of the oven now leave it to rest for about 5 to 10 minutes then serve some and I will let you know how it tastes but it smells so good right now the chicken has been resting for a good 10 minutes now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a little bit and let you know how it tastes as I said earlier it smells really good so I'm sure it's going to taste that good as well mm. yeah. slightly sweet and it has a smoky flavour because of the barbecue sauce that is yummy and I'm really looking forward to my dinner this evening. That's how you make my delicious barbecue chicken and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening and it smells and tastes so good I can't wait. So for now that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.